more pro. crib guys just I'm um, making sure this SD card works we're at the house uh, yeah that's my gym my little humble gym over here that's the rest of the crap bikes and stuff I gotta get rid of all this clothes that people gifted us for the babies um, and then here's my filming setup guys this is where I film my videos. So that's the garage. That's my equipment. This is where I film the videos that I bring to you. And why I close over here? Cause this is my laundry right here. See that? So that's my filming table. And then that over there, that's where I put all my stuff, like uh, my camera equipment and everything else goes on that table there. And I'm getting the bag ready to go to this wedding. So I got the A7S right here, guys. And then I got the I got a Canon um, T3 or something. What is that? T6, T7. That my assistant's gonna be using. It's a backup camera. She's gonna probably be using it to film me, and then she's also gonna use uh, this camera that is, is filming right now, which is the A6500. And I have um, my other A7S2 over there where the child is. So I'm gonna use two A7s, one is a two, and then I'm gonna use um, um A6500. Uh, yeah, that's my cameras, and then this is a backup camera, um, and then I got another backup camera, which is a uh, Where's that Canon? At? Oh, it's already in the car because we're packing right now. We're about to leave. Uh, so that's my sister-in-law slash my assistant And then that's my uh, son son right there Josh Josh Yeah, so I'm gonna dress like this for now and then we'll get it going. So we're on our way to a wedding right now. So we are uh, an hour 20, an hour and 20 minutes early right now. So we got, we're about an hour and 20 minutes early. <laughs> Cause I mean, you know, we're gonna be that early. The reason why I do that is because you need to give yourself time you know you need to give yourself time to travel you need to anticipate anything that happens on the road maybe there's, there's a detour maybe there's like a 30, 30 minute detour there's an uh, an accident there there's road work you know stuff like that so you know unexpected stuff especially if you're filming a wedding out of town like let's say it's three hours away from where you live or an hour two hours away you need to give yourself at least an hour and change for you to travel so that's what i always do i always give myself an hour and change to travel um if the wedding is you know like two hours like right now the wedding is in uh is in orlando and i don't live in orlando and orlando is about two hours away from where i'm at south of where you know um it's north of it's two hours north from where i'm at so I'm going to Kissimmee, Orlando right now, um, you know. So, yeah, so I'm going to get there at 12.43 p.m., but I'm supposed to be there at 2 p.m. So, you know, I have that time to, like, you know, uh, if there's anything on the road that happens, you know, I get to have some extra time, um, you know. So that's why I always do that. And if I got to get some food or if I got to get some gas and all that stuff. So... I'm just telling you guys that, is that a cop? Nice no, not. I'm just telling you, 
I'm just telling you, you know, if you get if you get pulled over, at least you got you know time to get that ticket and be on your way. <laughs> but if you're just like two minutes away from when you gotta get there, another thing is like, like um, let's say some wedding start whereby you're just gonna start with the ceremony, like our wedding today. We're starting at the ceremony, so 2 p.m. is the ceremony. So you need to get there extra early because, like, they're not gonna hold up the ceremony for you. You know, I don't know who you think you are, but they're not gonna hold up the ceremony for you. I did this one wedding where I was late, 35 minutes, and um, when I got there, the ceremony was already done. Yeah, and the bride, everybody at the wedding was just like looking at me like, like I'm shit, you know. But um, yeah, I managed to still do the wedding, but it was just an awkward. There was um, there was an accident on the turn bike, and um, I got caught up for like an hour on that thing, and I, I was late. So it happens. But see, it's good to always like at least have leave time for things like that to anticipate things like that, you know. So I don't want to drag the video because this is tips on the go. It's just like we're on the go right now. We in transit. But I'm trying to say it's like leaves, like leave a lot of room for error, you know. Especially if you are going fur, fur, man. If you're going, <laughs> if you're going further out than where you stay, where you live. So yeah, that's that. Palm Bay, baby. What you think? So this is the place. I was just kind of um, wary or whatever, because there was two of the same location. So I just wanted to make sure this is the place before I started filming some aerial shots and you know getting it in, and then coming to find out, oh, you at the location. Um, I will be actually doing a little bit more in this video, as far as I'm um, showing you guys the triangle formula. Uh, B-roll that you could take for the reception <clears throat> The ceremony all that good stuff. So we're starting now and this is exclusive content guys All right guys, so we're gonna start with some um, so once you get to once you get to damn. <laughs> Once you get to the location in our case, we're starting everything at the church. It's a Catholic Church so once you get here, the first thing you want to do is get, we got here an hour early because um, I'm trying to get some, uh, I'm trying to set up cameras in the church and also talk to the priest or whoever manages the church and see what they, uh, what their rules are as far as like filmmakers because you have to get all that information. You know, you can't just assume, oh, you can stand here or stand there. You have to talk to the people that run the church and they'll tell you where and where not to set your cameras. And um, yeah. So you have to do all that stuff. So I got here early so I can get some B-roll shots of the interior of the church and some B-roll shots of the outside, the um, exterior of the church. So just to get some like um, B-roll establishing shots. So the dad, the father of the bride really wanted some aerial shots, some drone shots. It's like, he's just crazy about drone shots, right? This dude is like, I want some drone shots of everything. Anyways, <laughs> so he wants some drone shots. So I'm gonna get some drone shots of the church. And then after I do some drone shots, I'll just do some B-roll, just get some of the statues around here. Just some of the pieces that are like memorable to this church and just unique to this church. So I'll just get some of that B-roll and then after that I'll go inside and get some interior shots. And then uh, set up the camera. I'll do the triangle um, triangle setup thing. There's a triangle, yeah, triangle formula setup thing, which I'll show you guys. But um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So first things first, when you get to the ceremony, first take the bureau, take the outside bureau first, all right, exterior shots. Just so you can like, you know, show people where this church is at, like, you know, the physical locations of the location, whatever. So that's what you do. You establish the location where everything is going, uh, taking place. And then you start going into like some more details and stuff like that, like the little statues and the decorations. But first, get the exterior first establish the scene okay guys so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna fly my drone out here and um yeah let's see what happens hopefully uh there's no airport or something close to this place i didn't even check all that but you have to do your math your math you have to do your homework and check all that stuff but me as a teacher 
uh, that's my fault. I should have checked. Checked. I should have checked. <laughs> but um, that's fine, guys. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna do some establishing shots, and then um, yeah, that's that. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. I would recommend that you guys get the smaller drones. DJI just announced today. I'm not announced. Just released the DJI Mini 2 today. It came in my email. So yeah, so the DJI Mini 2 just dropped. So you guys, I would um, recommend that if you're a filmmaker starting out now, just get the smaller drones because that small drone is 4K. This is 4K. And look at this. This is a freaking dinosaur compared to what they got now. They're saying that the small one weighs as much as an apple. So you can put it in your pocket. So it's better because like, it's just like, you know, incognito. You just get your shots and that's it. You know, you don't have to like worry about maybe cops or somebody saying, oh no, you can fly drones, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I would recommend all you guys who, was, who wanna, who, who are trying to get a drone, um, get the smaller drones, get the ones, there's drones right now where you don't, you don't need to register for anything. You know, you don't have to register your drone. You can fly it anywhere, you know, uh, because of the grams of how much it weighs. So I would recommend you guys to get those small drones so that way you, you are not restricted to like, you know, you can't fly near airports, near churches, near government buildings, not churches, but near government buildings. So when you have a small drone, you can fly pretty much anywhere. So I would recommend you guys get the small drones. So that's what I would recommend you guys. But I got this drone before they had the smaller drones. So this is a DJI 4 Pro. <laughs> this is a DJI 4 Pro. So anybody who's trying to get a drone now, I would recommend that you guys get the small drones, the DJI, the DJI uh, Mini that's out right now. So I would recommend you guys get that drone. Um, you know what? This is gonna fall off. This I don't want this to fall off. But when this falls off, I'm gonna lose connection to that. And then, um, I don't know, this has never happened to me. I don't wanna find out. I don't wanna find out, maybe the drone goes somewhere and I can't get in contact with it. So let me just make sure that this doesn't fall out, which is good, yeah, there we go. All right, this is now nice and secure. Right here, okay. Okay, so say it exactly. If you need anything, just text me. See you in about half an hour. Okay, that's the bride's dad. All right, so get the small drones. If you're just starting out in the game, I'll recommend that you get a small drone. Even for my SD card, I'm not gonna fly this without an SD card. I should have done that yesterday. I should have put all the SD cards in the cameras and maybe even this morning, you know, if I had time, but that's my fault. I should have done that. I should have got that going, you know. Uh, now I have to, uh, my SD cards are all, I keep all my SD cards in, all my SD cards in this little thing here. Let's see all of them, bow, bow. So I keep all my SD cards in here. Um, the mini ones are for the drone, so I'm going to need like a third, 16 is good. 16 is good. I'm not going to get that many shots. 16 gigabytes is good. I'm recording 4K, so 16 is good. There we go. Down. Then we'll put this here. Alright, that's set up. Put this back in here. And so we are about we are about an hour early. Where's my time? We're about an hour early. Um, yeah. So we're 50 minutes early. Where am I looking there? We're 50 minutes early. So yeah. So that's what's going on right now. I'm trying to get everything going. Where's that DJ? Where's that DJ? My son didn't delete that app. Well, he did. He deleted the app. What he delete? 
he deleted he deleted the DJI app of the phone. Because oh. once I once I um connect this to this, it should start um starting up already, but it's not starting up. So now I have to download that thing. Yeah, so that's the situation. So I'm just gonna get aerial shots of the the venue. I'm not even gonna get like um any like close-ups like that. So I just do some aerial shots. Because the aerial shot will be enough to kind of like, you know, I mean, what am I, I don't really get too many, you know, B-roll shots of the church, you know. So just a few shots of the um, exterior and a few shots of the interior, that's it. You don't want to linger too much on the, sh on the B-roll shots when you're editing, so, yeah. So that's that. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in the church and get some interior shots of the venue and uh, yeah, and that's all the bureau that we need, honestly. You need a lot of bureau, but sometimes when, once you get going and you have a routine on how you work at weddings, less is more, guys, less is more. There's no such thing as too much bureau, but you need to know what you're getting, so less is more. So this is enough for the outside and then I'm just gonna go inside and do some interior shots and that's that. And the fact that we're really early, we get to go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> just going, I'm not eating that choppy food stuff. <laughs> All right, we're inside the church, nice building. Oh uh, yeah, guys, gonna use the restroom real quick. Coronavirus, guys, you know. With the masks and all that. All good. All right, so um, we're here in the church. But I just do the triangle formula setup. And um, yeah, so y'all gonna see me do the triangle formula setup. And after that, yeah, um, we got about 15 more minutes. So trying to set up everything and just do the triangle formula. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the triangle formula thing. So we're a little bit late to do some of the um, ceremony bureau, but I'll see what I can get. And also I can get some of the bureau after the ceremony, but we'll see, we'll see. At least I've got the exterior and all that establishing shot. So let me go in there, um, do the triangle formula setup, and then I'll just take my gimbal and start getting some uh, Stumped, oh, sorry, some B roll shots. All right. I see this. See? <laughs> wow. Imagine if I didn't have that. <laughs> All these little accessories. Always be prepared. <laughs> What's better now? Because I'm wearing my belt inside out. <laughs> Cause it's got it's got words on the, on the back. Oh, I see, I see. So this looks more professional. I just hope. It I forgot cool. my belt, so I'm not really so prepared. So that's that. Just um, I have a video telling you what kind of accessories you need at a wedding. So go watch that video. I'm not gonna link it. Just go find it somewhere. On <laughs> Being lazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna like the video, just go find it. <laughs> yeah. So, setting up for the cameras for the triangle formula here. All right guys, so this is the ceremony. So the triangle formula is one camera here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the triangle formula is one camera here to show everything, to show the bride and groom, and then one camera over there that's the groom camera because it's going to be focused only on the groom and then one camera on the other side which is the bride camera it's going to be only focused on the bride you got the bride camera mm -hmm. so groom camera bride camera and then this is wide angle shot of both this is going to be the wide of both the bride and groom so you can zoom it in um i have the 
uh, what is that something to 300 so you can zoom it in and uh, get all of them there but yeah so that's the triangle formula guys the triangle formula is one camera here in the back and then bow bow make a triangle so with this camera what you can do is you have to move it on the side so that way people can be able to pass and stuff like that photographers can pass you don't want to just like oh right there you know yeah and also if you want you can move it close up but you gotta go in the sun you gotta go like that yeah and make sure you're not blocking people here can't trip over it yeah so make sure you're not blocking people so that's the triangle formula um so the good thing with this camera is it's able to focus on the bride and then that one is able to just focus on the groom so now that camera will be wide angle showing the priest and the bride and groom so that's the situation that's the triangle formula so usually this camera right here when they're walking down the aisle this camera will be right here okay as the bride and groom walk down the aisle this camera will be right here and sometimes i'll even take it out the tripod but it's going to be right here and i'll be going like that as soon as the person gets here um i, I go back um so i zoom in and so as soon as the person's coming i'm just going like that and when they get here i go back to film the other person coming but um if that's the last person then i just pan to them and then go this way but in unexpected situations because i didn't talk to the priest so i didn't know they were going to come through this way so that's where you just act fast and move your camera and film them as they come down this way so just be prepared for different scenarios sometimes um they come from the back this way so just talk to the priest and see where they're gonna the grooms may not gonna come in from and um, sometimes they actually come through the front you know so in my case they came through this way and the bridesmaids came by themselves one by one so always ask guys that's the rule of the wedding always ask if you don't know so that's the triangle formula guys so, so then, yeah. w when they do get here mm -hmm. and when they get right here where you're facing them yeah you pull the camera back oh yeah so after the bride gets here after the bride and her dad come right here so um usually sometimes what i do is i move uh, i put the tripod here so where it's in the triangle yeah. formation yeah so, so you gotta bring I it back get this handheld as the bride is coming so once the bride um, and the dad come here i um take this cap this camera now and i go and put it on the tripod here so that way um there's nothing this area is clear as the bride walks down because the dress sometimes can hook into the tripod and it's just a, a, a more neat neater shot when there's nothing here because also the photographer you gotta put in mind they also want to get good shots without you in it and without the tripod so always sometimes if you can just move this out the way and if you can hold this the whole time while everybody's coming down then just do that anyways so that's that and this is the groom's camera so the groom's camera um usually it's just here to get the facial expressions as the bride walks down so in case the groom cries and stuff like that at least you get a good close-up of him with this camera so this is dedicated only to the groom especially when the bride is walking down and then you can also zoom out to um, get the priest and the the couple as the the whole um ceremony is going down it's good mm -hmm. it's an order right yeah okay so um, let's talk to the dj real quick real quick You can just film in there. So that's the DJ. Hey, how you doing? Miss, are you coming here? All right. So um, I'm just filming for my YouTube channel. Okay. I have like a YouTube channel where like I teach people how to do weddings. So I'm just trying to tell them like the situation today. Like you know, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be ready to. You can get in there. Do you mind being on camera? Yeah. Okay. You want me to sign the paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay, so there's a lot of stuff that goes on at a wedding. Not every wedding is the same. 
So kind of how I was trying to hook into the DJ system, like I show you guys. You know, you gotta hook into the DJ system. You gotta mic the officiant, in, in this case the priest. You gotta mic the, um, the 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 bride, and some people even mic the groom. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta mic the groom, but some people also mic the bride at some weddings, right? I don't know if you know that, but oh yeah. So they use like a white lavalier mic and stuff like that. But it's kind of complicated because like the dress is already tight on her, and then you're trying to have her like you know wear that. So I don't usually mic. The, no, mic. no, I I had a bride come to me one time. They wanted to be mic. I'm like, there's there's nothing to put right? the mic on. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Right, and plus like we usually have like you know black like lapel mics. Yeah. So it's just gonna like, you know, the contrast is just gonna stick out. So and if that's the photographers are not gonna love that, you know, for their photos. Anyway, so you gotta improvise, you know. At least um we try I try to see what other like connections I can, you know, put on, but uh until later it was like, Oh, you know I can just send you the file through, you know <laughs> if you have a computer I can actually just put put it on your computer or if you have a USB. Anyway, so just like you know improvise and use whatever you got in this case i didn't mic the groom i didn't mic the uh, the priest so the best thing i was like i'm just gonna use audio from the dj but um it didn't work out so at least good thing he had he's recording everything so it's gonna send me the file so i'm lucky on that part but you guys like be you know always try and mic everybody if you got uh i usually recommend the zoom h1s you know, just try and mic the, the groom because I usually don't mic the bride. So just mic the groom because it's easy because he's wearing a jacket, a tie, whatever you can. It's easy to put that the lapel mic on him. So mic him. But I like micing the priest or the officiant because they're going to be doing most of the talking throughout the whole ceremony. So that's why I usually mic them as well. So that way I can like, you know, switch the audio. But um, so this session is just about the, the DJ at the ceremony. So make sure you ask them you know, if they can help you with audio, usually a lot of them, especially when they're working in the DJs, uh, the audio guys, like they know, you know, how to, cause they do this, this is not the first wedding they're doing. They do weddings probably every weekend and probably even way more before COVID. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. So he probably has a lot of uh, filmmakers asking him. So he already knows. So he actually came to me. He was like, oh, you do your film? If you need the audio, I was like, oh damn, I didn't even ask yet. So, you know, he's a professional and he deals with that. So. Just ask them, they'll tell, you, uh, they'll tell you what connections they need. And in my case, well, something was wrong with my thing and I didn't, it didn't work, so at least he's already recording, you know, so yeah. he's gonna send me the file. So always ask and um, yeah, it's just like, be ready to just improvise in unexpected scenarios like this. So. Im improvisation is the key yeah. to this, like videography, yeah. music, uh, it's everything. Yeah. And you gotta have plan A, plan B, plan yeah, C. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, and also plenty, plenty of adapters. Bring lots of yeah. adapters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my yeah. personal experience. Yeah. So what kind of adapters? Like you say, like oh, like the. Uh, maybe like a quarter inch to the quarter inch to RCA, RCA to quarter yeah, inch, yeah. quarter inch to spaghetti, spaghetti yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Apple to computer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just anything, literally every option. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you got it. So, what's your name again? Michael. So this is Michael Francis. So yeah, that's that. COVID nineteen. Thanks, yeah. man. Melissa. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good to meet you, brother. Thank you for the input, man. I'll use that. And please send me the file. Um, In the process of doing it right now. See? Uh, what, what's, your, what's your YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's um, Wedding Videography Tips. Wedding Videography Tips. Yeah, just like that. All to, it's all together. So that's the channel. How you guys know how you go in? Does the bride room go in first or last? Huh? They go in last because uh, they're going to sit right there. Okay. Right by the seat there. Because I'm trying to take uh, a video of them going in. Kind of thing. Are you guys starting up now? Yeah, you guys go in. Yeah, you're just going to wait till yeah. it comes out and opens the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll wait for everybody to go in. Yeah, we'll and then uh, I'm going to have them close the door. The video driver. And then um, I'll just tell them yeah. to open the door. Good. Good. And there's a partition glass that you can take pictures from inside of the limo towards this way. 
like you could just kneel on my seat or over here there's no seat over here so, so you could get some pictures I'll there. I'll there. I'll there. I just want to do a shot of them going in. I'm not a good model. There you go. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> I guess they're all going to go in and then the bride and groom are going last. So we'll just close the door when everybody goes in. And then um, as they walk, we're just going to kind of like open the door for them. All right, guys. You guys can go in. So you guys are going in last. So we're going to close the door and then um, we're going to be in that. You guys going in. And <laughs> All right, bride and groom, you guys, just just the two of you guys are going to walk in. We're going to open the door for you guys, and then um, you're going to help your bride in. And don't shove her. Don't shove her. Yeah, let, let her up. Well, let's go. I just want to help All right, and action. Go ahead. Look at look at mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can't go in the way you guys. We gotta wait till there's done the cameras are on. Uh, that, that's the first amendment. You're always gonna have to open our door now. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Yay! <laughs> Just married. Okay, come on in. Alright, kids. Ha, ha, ha. 